my loves and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my st lucian ice lolly recipe guys this is a recipe that i've had from since i was a little girl and now i'm a bit older i'm so happy to be making it for my family right, just to give you a bit of an ingredient breakdown you're gonna need about a cup of sugar i've got some mixed spice over here this is my mixed spice and this actually consists of cinnamon, coriander seed, nutmeg. You also got ginger and cloves so this has got everything in there. We also gonna need some evaporated milk, some peanut butter, some condensed milk. I've also got my bags over here that I'm gonna use to tie it up just to show you the bag. And last but not least we're gonna need some full coloring. This is optional you don't have to use this. We also gonna need some water and our blender. So we've got our clean bowl and we're gonna start by combining our ingredients, all right? So the first thing that I like to do, I like to just go in with my um, evaporated milk, okay? And the reason I'm combining everything in the bowl before I blend it, that just helps everything to just, you know, combine better before you blend it up. Right. Then I'm going in with my condensed milk, all right? Make sure to put everything in there, the whole can. Then I'm going in with some vanilla extract. All right. I'll put about a teaspoon. Then we're going in with our mixed spice. And we're going to go in with our peanut butter. Okay. Now you can use as much peanut butter as you like. It's entirely up to you okay putting a generous amount and today I'm gonna to be showing you the peanut butter ice lolly as well as the plain ones for people that are allergic to peanuts okay and I'm putting about two cups of water to this all right I know it's got the peanut butter in here so I know it's not going to mix up as you like but that's totally fine you just want to mix it up anyway before we pour it into our blender all right so i'm now gonna pour my mix into my blender make sure to get everything in there peanut butter and everything all right then we're gonna blend it up for about a minute till it's nice and smooth okay time to turn it up okay so time to pour it in look at that you see how nice and thick it all oh it's so beautiful so just to show you how it's so nice and thick and creamy see that and then we just need to bag it up now i did go ahead and add in the remainder of my peanut butter and i also added in my sugar as well okay so make sure you add in all your ingredients when it is blending okay so I've got my clean bag over here and I'm just going to be going in with a cup of our beautifully blended mix over here. All right. And you're just going to put in one cup and maybe a little bit more because we don't want these to be too big. Okay. And then we're going to tie it up. Okay. Look at that. You can give it a little spin around like so okay and then you just want to go around and tie it up like so see that hey boy look at that So for our second set of ice lollies, I've gone ahead and washed my bowl. I'm now going in with my milk, my evaporated milk. Okay, and you want to put a whole can in there. Then we're going to go in with our condensed milk, the whole can. Mix spice. Okay. And we're gonna go in with some vanilla extract. 
And last but not least, we're gonna add in some water. Okay, I'm using bottled water. You can use whatever water you want, all right? About two cups of water. Then we just want to stir that up, all right? And the condensed milk is quite thick at the bottom, so you need to make sure you stir this up very well. Now, I will be blending this in two parts because I've got some yellow food coloring and some green. Now, this is optional. You don't have to use this, but growing up, you know, you had the different color ice lollies and you know this is just something that i like to add to mine but that's entirely up to you it's optional okay nicely combined so i'm going to separate this in two and add some yellow and add some green all right or you can use red you can use whichever colors that you like all right so okay guys so this is the first set in and i'm just gonna add a little bit of food color <laughs> Okay, nicely blended, nice and yellow. So time to bag it up. What I noticed, I find that this food coloring was not as vibrant as I would like it to be, but that is entirely fine. So pour some in here. You don't want to put in too much. And then you just want to flip the bag around like so. Okay, make sure you just get it around so you can get as much air as you can out of it. Then just flip it over. And then you just want to pull it through like that. See that? Look at that. Wonderful. So there we have the third set. I was not very happy with the way the yellow food coloring came out. I find I had to put in too much just to get a yellow color. So I've gone ahead and taken this one rather than using the other green one. And this is a red food coloring and I'm just putting a little dash. In. So there you have it guys, our ice lollies all ready. Which color are you having? I actually went ahead and blended up some green ones as well. I just added some green food coloring because I just felt like it was missing out. So I had to go on and make a green one. So this one is like the peanut punch flavor. And this one is just basically vanilla flavored with some food coloring to give it that color. Now, what we need to do, we need to freeze these. I have a deep freezer, so it should take about three to four hours to just freeze completely, and then they will be good to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Guys, literally, I'm taking you right back to your childhood. There you go, there you go. There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just freeze them up, and then I will show you how it looks when it's all frozen. I know which one I'm having. Definitely going for the peanut punch flavor one. Definitely. See, they look amazing, guys. Just need to freeze. 